First, let's click on Beacons and Zones. Then, let's create a virtual beacon. This is automatically placed on the map, and I will drag it to the desired location, which happens to be my chair. We can edit it, give it a name, a notification message, as well as set a power. Keeping in mind that this is just an XY circle around the virtual beacon on the map. You can see that here. Next, I'm going to set up another virtual beacon. This time it will be called Printer and is the actual main printer in our office. We'll give it a name. We'll give it the notification message that will be shown on the iPhone as you approach it. And we'll set up a nominal power. Next, I'm going to draw a quick walking path in our office to which the dot will snap to path. Keep in mind it is important that these paths actually touch when they're magnified. This could be a source of problems. First, we have an actual video of the walk in the office so you can see where we're going. Next is the actual screen of the Mist demo app showing the dot and showing all the sensor fusion going on, the spotlight and the breadcrumbs. Now I'm going to select my iPhone and look at its RF environment. This is what we call RF classes, which is a comprehensive visualization of all the data being processed on the MIST backend. Now you can see the entire experience. Please notice the alert when we approach the virtual beacon printer and then the rest of the walk. And you can see when dead reckoning takes over when we lose a packet or two in the round trip time window. And then we walk the rest of the office and eventually get back to my desk and see that alert also.